really nice win for your glove, and it started, I think, with Jose Barrios and how just crisp and sharp he looked from the very start. How did he look to you? Yeah, he was uh, absolutely at the top of his game uh, in pretty much every way. Um, when he's when he's really crisp with his fastball, uh, the, the fastball and the fastball life were excellent. His ability to command it to both sides of the plate was, I mean, from where I'm standing, excellent. Um, and he was able to, to really implement some of those breaking balls with a little more downward action. He commanded it very well. Changeup was good. I, 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 you know, we can, we can dissect it all the way around. It was a tremendous night uh, for him. And uh, you know we've we've seen this guy many times over, and uh, that's that's the guy we remember, and it doesn't get any better than what we saw. It looked like he and Ryan Jeffers were on the same page, though all six innings. How impressive is that for a guy making his big league debut to be that locked in? Yeah, uh, Ryan's uh, a guy that hasn't played a, a ton at the big league level one night, um, but when you watch him go about his work behind the plate. Really, in the clubhouse, at you know, at the plate with the bat in his hands, he is very uh, confident and comfortable. Uh, he has a very good way about him. He works well with others. Um, he's a very intelligent guy. He's very prepared for the game. We wanted to get him here in plenty of time today to let him settle in and uh, prepare for for today's game. He brought it out there on the field. Did a great job behind the plate. Um, he's a uh, He's a guy that knows what's going on in the game. His awareness level is very high, and we get to see all of that come together. Uh, and seeing him work with a Jose Barrios that well on on day one is a tremendous uh, sign for things to come. Dan? Hey, Rocco, you guys obviously have dealt with some adversity over the last year and a half, but uh, for in the context of putting two of your starters in IL before the game, how big did that kind of make performance yeah on a, on a day of uh, a little bit of uncertainty there was a lot going on uh, last night and and earlier today and um, you know regardless of how uh, mature and what a veteran you know team with with veteran presences that you have to really stabilize everything everyone knows that that there are guys that are are beat up and guys going on the IL and there's going to be some movement and things like that um, so on, on a day like that when there was a lot going on, uh, with new faces coming in and, and things like that. Jose just going out there and, and kind of putting a lot of that to the side and allowing everyone to just you know, comfortably go through the game in a, in a very confident manner. Um, just you know, sit, sit down the opposition with, uh, you know, without a ton of, of distraction or, or things going on or base runners or anything like that. Um, it, it, it helps us as a group tremendously. It's exactly the kind of effort uh, that you like to, to see. And on a good home stand, also finishing a good home stand like that with everything that did go on, uh, it's a great feeling getting on the plane. Dill? Rocco, the, uh, for Jose's uh, swings and misses, same as, last, uh, same as his last start, 12 out time, 12 tonight. Um, with that in mind, the stuff was there, but what kind of helped his command sharpen up for today's appearance? Is there anything in particular you point to? You know what, I, I didn't talk to him about that. I, I, I haven't had that conversation with him, but I know Wes has. And I, I bet that uh, Jose or Wes could, could actually dig into that really well, because you can see that uh, his ability to, to do really whatever he wanted. I mean, the stuff was excellent, but it's what are you doing with the stuff? And you know, how are you uh, pitching ahead? And how are you getting ahead? And how are you um, you know, attacking each hitter a little bit differently and finding ways to work one pitch off of the other pitch. He did, he did everything. He had everything going, uh, and that's what it looks like. That's, you know, that is the Jose Barrios that we, uh, we talk about all the time. Like I said, we've seen it a bunch, uh, but that's the one that you are certainly looking for, and uh, it was just fantastic effort.